The Kenyatta Trust was formed in 2010 by His Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, the current head of state of Kenya. At that time, he was not the head of state. Together with his sister Nyokavi and his family, they decided to make an impact in the lives of vulnerable, brilliant youth. In Africa, we have a saying that charity begins at home. So they started in their home county. When he became head of state in 2012 is when Kenyatta Trust was registered and went countrywide. As the founder and patron of the Kenyatta Trust, I believe that the generation of young people that we have today has the potential to expand Africa's productive workforce, promote job creation and entrepreneurship, and to become genuine instruments of change. The Kenyatta Trust is very close to His Excellency's heart because through this program he is able to impact lives of families that he would not ordinarily meet. By educating this one child from this home, from this village, that child is able to go back home, share the information that they've learned, for instance, during our camps, share the information they've learned in their schools, and thus transform their families. So the transformational work we do is not only from of the student, but is from that whole family and that village as well. At the Kenyatta Trust, we have a selection of scholars. Every year we select scholars who have finished in Kenya. The primary education is eight years. So they come to the trust, our secretariat in, in Lavington, and we interview them. A very friendly, child-based interview. We interview the, the parent or guardian who brings them. <laughs> From here, it's up to you. Yeah? We are here to support you, but you must also play your part. Yeah. During my primary level, I had passed through many obstacles, but still, I worked hard because success does not come in a silver plate. They share their journey, how it has been in primary school, the challenges they went through, their successes, what they loved most, and how basically school life has been. We have camps every holiday where the students come and have fun-based learning. We call them the Janja Ruka camps. For this camp, we have been as the ex-candidates. Uh, we've learned a lot. First of all, we were taught about financial management. Money have first thing. When you get money, save first. The amount of money does not matter. And you save with what you call an investment mindset. Save with an investment mindset. During the camps, we have scholars who come in in Form 1, and we have a different curriculum for every year. We have other executive mentors who have given of their time and energy, and they come for these Janjaruka camps. As much as these executive mentors have one-on-one -on -one scholars that they mentor, they also come and engage and play and learn with the scholars at the camp. So they become like father figures and mother figures to them. In the camps, basically you need to keep the youth very busy. Once you don't keep them busy, it becomes either boring or they'll indulge in other things that are not useful to their lives. But we make it very busy and also very fun, uh, something that they look forward to. I like also dealing with scholars at this age because they are so malleable, almost like clay. You can mold them and they're very enthusiastic about life. They don't have so many biases. All they want is, is a good life and to be successful. So it would be very nice to impact them with useful skill sets and useful knowledge that can help them be successful. They meet one another and become buddies and we pair them in order for them to go to each other's homes during the long school holiday. And the stories are absolutely phenomenal. My best friend's name, Anita Vivian Tipape, uh, I visited her for the country to country and we went to Lenkisim, Kajiado. The experience of just living in a manyata, apart from hearing it, uh, just dressing, dressing in the traditional attire and just 
being involved with them, you know, being one like with the people and understanding their cultures. Honestly, the best time I've ever had. My best friend's name is Sarah Yuli Anthony. She is in Alliance Girls High School. I went to the place, I went to Tarasa, Tana River County. The, the people are so well, welcoming. Her mom taught me personally how to prepare Mchelewa Nazi and I cooked for my family and they were impressed. And I'm grateful that I met her and had a great time. A few of our scholars, when they come uh, up with all sorts of teenage issues, we have a body, a group of counsellors who help us work with them. I train mostly in psychological first aid. I train as well in sex education. I enjoy being around young people and being able to talk to them and to learn about um, where they are in life, where they want to head and it's such an inspiration to me because growing up nobody was there for me in the way that I'm able to be there for them. The Tungane Mentorship Program is a phenomenal idea that uh, our patron, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, started. So we have executive mentors who are paired with our university scholars, same gender. Such mentors, executive mentors, shed such light into these children, some of them very dark lives, a life that they could not have imagined ever stepping into the classroom. And they put, take them under their wings, and we have a guide where we allow the mentors and the mentees to connect at a very deep level. They're welcome into each other's homes, they, they can travel together and do all sorts of fun things, but in a very strict environment where there's respect and guidance. The Inuka Economic Empowerment Program is one of the programs that the Kenyatta Trust um, has started to help the families where our scholars come from. Our scholars are from disadvantaged families and very, very needy backgrounds. Not all families are able to take their children through high school. So because we've selected a child, for instance, from Narok County, that child comes from a larger family. So that specific home where we've selected a child the mother or father, mostly it's the women, come together with 19 other families and form a group. That's the group that now becomes one of the Inuka groups. We are now transforming lives of 12,000 families based on the scholars that the Kenyatta Trust has picked. It's very emotional when I see this little, little, small child at the selection interview, very shy, very scared, shaking, some of them tearing, and then they go through the Janjaruka camps in our mentorship program and come out strong, emotionally intelligent, and able to mingle anywhere in the world. It's a very fulfilling, it's the most fulfilling work. My team like to say that it's not a job that we do, that it's a calling, because indeed you need to have a big heart in order to serve these children and their parents and guardians. The future of the trust, by the grace of God, is to be able to increase the number of scholars that we select and thus increase the impact that we have because it will trickle down to the very last family in the village. <laughs>